Hello guys. So following my part one of this playlist on microservices, where I have shown you the basic introduction and concepts about microservices, let's do something new today in the part two. And I will be creating a data-driven microservice with ASP.NET 5, with API Gateway, and what is going to be shown here is that it is an architecture of an app with various microservices and an API gateway. So first of all, this is this figure one shows an application consisting of three microservices, a customer microservice with a database and a product microservice with its own database. Similarly, a, an order microservice. OK. And the client app requests the various microservices through an API gateway, which is also a microservice. Now, this gateway reroutes all the API endpoints and unifies them under a single domain. So, if the customer microservice is deployed on ports 4678, a fictitious port, and a product on, say, another port, say 4789, then the localhost 467i8 for the customer microservice would be rerouted as localhost colon port 4001 slash API slash customer and and for the product it will be the localhost 4789 will be rerouted as localhost colon 4001 slash API slash product assuming that 4001 being the API gateway port and as you can see as I have told in the part one which is very essential please if you haven't covered the part one and if you are new to the microservices i strongly recommend that you should go through the part one which is in the description and so these microservices are all individually deployed so now let's switch over to visual studio and start building our application so guys here i have opened the visual studio 2019 community version and i will click on create a new project and I'll go for a blank solution and click on next and name this blank solution. This is just a solution, empty solution where we are going to add the projects for the microservices. So I will name this So microservices.webpi and click on create. So my solution is created with zero projects. You can see that there is there are no projects. So I am going to add a folder. Now there is a new solution folder and which I will name as microservices under which all the microservices will be placed. So, microservices. All right. So, within this microservices folder, I will put, so I will right click on this microservices folder that I have created and click on add new project. And on the add a new project template, I will it is already highlighted on ASP.NET Core Web Applications. So I will click on Next and name this project as let's create the product microservices first. So product dot product dot microservice. Okay. So click on create. And this will be ASP.NET Core 5 platform under .NET Core. And this will be, it is going to be an ASP.NET Core Web API. And let us configure it for HTTPS or you can just uncheck it if you like. Enable Open API support. Okay. Uh, and then let's create. So project will be created for you. Now this product dot microservice product microservice is created for me, which has got a few 
folders properties and then the controllers uh, with just a weather forecast controller app setting dot json program file startup file and then weather forecast service so again right click on this microservices folder and click on add new project once again and this time i am going to add the this customer customer dot microservice or the customer microservice customer dot click on enter and again asp.net core web api asp.net core 5 which is the latest configure for https enable open api support don't enable docker support which we are not going to do at the moment okay no authentication is required so click on create so it has also created a very quickly customer microservice so you see how efficient this uh, id visual studio community version has become of over years so it has just quickly produced a customer microservice and a product microservice so now i'm going to create the gateway api microservice so under the solution on the root solution level i'll click on add a new project once again and this click on next and give it a name gateway dot web api and click on create this time i'm going to create an empty asp.net core empty project because this project the gateway web api project will not contain much code okay so this let this be asp.net core empty as opposed to the asp.net core web api for the actual microservices okay product and the uh, um, customer microservices so let's click on create and it is going to create a, a gateway dot web api which is outside the microservices folder and it has got startup program class and asp dot app settings dot json so now we need to fill up these microservices with code product microservice and the customer microservice now if i show everything in this tutorial the second part then it will be a very long uh, tutorial it will amount to um, 30 minutes or 40 minutes so i will come back again in the third part and i will show you how to create the product microservices product microservice following a cqrs you know which is called command query response segregation principle using a mediator pattern and that will be actually helpful in showing the usage of cqrs okay so we'll talk about that later and thanks for watching